All right, I have a simple demo that demonstrates how to use the graphics generated in Raster Master in QB64 uh, Phoenix Edition with Raylib. So I'm just going to run the demo and then I'm going to go over explaining some things. So if we look over here, we have a little plane and if I use the arrow keys, we can move it around. And if I hit the C key, we can cycle to a different uh, image. So there's three images. There's a blue, orange, and a green. And that's all it does. It's not a full game or anything, but this is basically enough to show you how to import the graphics uh, into QB64 and uh, Raylib, basically. So the key line is right here. It's um, It'll include this file called planes.bas and you have to put it directly under your init window statement. If you put it above, it's not gonna work, and if you put it in other places, it's not also not gonna work. So it's important to do it right after, and that's because um, if we look at the code in here, it relies on having a, a video context already open. So if we look at the code, this is what's generated from Raster Master, and it generates a lot of constants as well as all the RGBA values uh, that that basically create the image. Uh, so this is all the data for the orange plane, and it's just very long. But uh, basically, all this code reads all that data and converts it into uh, a texture image that you could actually use uh, by using the uh, draw texture command. So if we look here, all we're doing is just using this command to draw the uh, the textures that it, that the code automatically reads into the texture. So how do we get the names here? Well, if we go into the, our project file here. I'll right click over the properties and this is where we select our compiler and the image type and the image type is Raylib RGBA index 0 and what the index 0 means that we're going to use index 0 here as the transparent color so this black is going to be the transparent color it doesn't matter if I if I if I change this color to something else it will still be transparent. So if I if I adjust the values and now make it red, it really doesn't matter once I export it, just because it's index zero, this will be transparent. So um, let me just try changing some other colors just to show you that uh, how easy this is. Let's say we wanted to change the blue here to uh, something else. Let's go for this color here and let's just paint it and uh, let's only do a few and I'm going to export it again um, but before I do that I'm going to select the export to go to a file and we do that by just unchecking this and now if I export and I'm going to override um, our file that we previously exported. And it's all in here under our Raylib folder. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure it's all correct. So export. And uh, let's find, here's the file, I'll write it, and I'm just going to run the demo again. So it includes that file, and we should see the changes that we just made. Actually, I think there's a little bug in um, QB64 where 
it doesn't know that we made changes. So I have to re-edit that line. And now we see the changes. So what used to be blue now has a little purple there. You know, the other one stayed the same, but uh, you get the idea. Um, so this uh, simple demo is on, on GitHub. I'll put the link in the uh, description of the video, but that's how easy it is. Now, if you think yeah, you're, that I'm a great artist or anything, I'm not. I usually steal some of the better uh, demos that I create from um, sprite uh, sheets that have already been uh, created by other artists. Uh, so this is um, a Kenny uh, sprite sheet. And uh, this is how easy it was to import it in. I basically used the sprite import option. And, uh, and that's all I did to import it. Uh, so we could choose this one also just to see different tiles. And if we change the size here, 16, uh, we could just choose a few, and if we go back here, we can see them imported. So that's how easy it is to grab stuff off the internet or sprite sheets and use them in your own programs. So I'll end the video at this. Thanks for watching.